Hey guys, welcome to section two of chapter one. And in this section, we're gonna talk about the different options we have as far as e-commerce platforms or shopping carts or whatever you wanna call them. Um, there's really two categories. There's open source free, and then there's premium or commercial based um, platforms. And I would recommend the open source choice over the paid for just about any small to mid-range business um, if you have a big corporation with endless pits of money um, then you might want to go for the commercial um, and but they're very very expensive guys very expensive <clears throat> uh, Magento which is probably one of the most popular open source platforms uh, they have an enterprise edition uh, which offers support and um, some other stuff I don't even know <clears throat> but they start at 15,000 a year um, and then they have the enterprise plus edition which starts at 49,000 a year so you can see that uh, the prices of these these things are just outrageous so open source is usually the, the better choice so what is a shopping cart platform? Uh, by definition, an online shopping cart is a piece of pre-programmed e-commerce software that sits on a web server and it allows users to access and purchase items through the internet. The software is typically, what it does is it allows users to add items to a cart and then when they're finished adding the items to the cart, they can proceed to a checkout and go through the payment system uh, add their shipping method and anything else that the system needs. Um, there are many shop that there are many shopping cart platforms available. Some are free and open source, and some are commercial. And we we know that we are sticking to the open source market. So what I'll do now is go through. Uh, I think it's five of the most popular platforms that we could choose from and PrestaShop is the one that we will be using in this series uh, that is not to say that it's any better or any worse than any of the others um, it just offers the particular fe features that we want to have um, in this series and now I'm gonna go through just a list of features for each one but it's not to say that these features are only t for this shopping cart because most of them have uh, just a general um, selection of features some may have uh, one or two extras or one or two less but it's they're pretty much um, in the same in the same arena um, Presta shop has great ca I just picked out some things that I thought were um, really good about each one so Presta shop has a uh, great catalog management system so th just the way that it organizes products categories um, things like that it just it's just in a way that's very user friendly and it just keeps the user coming back um, and gives them a really pleasant experience while going through the front end of the site uh, inventory and stock it handles really well uh, we can have we can have the we don't have to use stock but for physical products where you want to have stock you can have icons and that'll tell you how many you have left I think there's even graphical icons we can use for stock which is uh, kinda cool uh, downloadable products you could sell music ebooks videos you can sell stuff like that through press the shop uh, intuitive back office which is what they call the admin area uh, and it's very user friendly, very easy to use, and it's also very powerful. Product search, uh, any, any e-commerce platform should have a, a good product search in place. And CMS features is another thing that makes PrestaShop great. Uh, it has a built-in CMS so you can have privacy policy pages or about us, contact forms, um, stuff like that. So press the shop is one option. Another option is Magento, which is one of the most popular platforms. 
Um, Magento has, you can do recurring payments um, where someone can pay on a, on a monthly basis, uh, newsletter management, downloadable products as PrestaShop has. Um, it has a very simple admin area, but they're very powerful. Uh, I actually prefer the PrestaShop back office to Magento's admin area. Um, they have a gift, gift registry, which is really cool, and Magento also has a CMS uh, built into it. And like I told you, for Magento, there are three versions. Um, there's the open source community version, which is this one, which is free. And then they have the hosted solution called the Magento Go. And that's for people that want to have their cart hosted on Magento servers. Um, and they also offer support and uh, just different kinds of features. Uh, and that's not free. That's the lowest package, I think, is 100 products, which is like $15 a month. And then the highest package is around $125 a month. So that's for Magento Go. For Magento Enterprise, which is the one I was talking about earlier, um, starts at $15,000 a year. Um, and then they have a, an Enterprise Plus edition, I believe it's called. Uh, and that is starts at 49000 a year. So it gets quite expensive. Um, Magento Community, which is the free version, is awesome, just like PrestaShop. So um, that's what I'd suggest to uh, most of the developers out there. Let's see. Next we have OS Commerce, which has been around for a while. OS Commerce is usually included with some hosting packages um, that offer auto script in installations. Uh, there's not too many features to OS Commerce. I particularly wouldn't recommend it, but a lot of people do like it. Um, it does have easy order and customer management built into the back end. It has a very simple template structure which allows you to create custom themes pretty easily. Um, there is a lot of payment and a lot of shipping options as well which is good. So next we have Spree Commerce, which is, it's based on Ruby on Rails as opposed to uh, the other platforms that are based on PHP. Um, it has a very flexible checkout flow. Uh, I really like the, how smooth the checkout goes. Um, it's, it's pretty similar to PrestaShop in a lot of ways. Um, it has really beautiful themes. Um, I find that there's not too too many of them though. There's a lot more for Presta Shop and Magento. <clears throat> um, the the customer management is pretty easy, um, as well as tracking orders. There's several shipping options. Uh, there's over 50 payment plugins, so all the popular ones, PayPal, Authorize.net. Uh, there's no problem using any of those, um, and it's 100% open source. And the last one I want to t show you is Virtumart. Now, Virtumart is different where it's it's part of the Joomla content management system. Not part of, but it, it's a, an add-on for Joomla. It doesn't come stock with Joomla, but you can download it and install it for free. Uh, it's totally open source. Um, and the, the biggest plus to this is that it's integrated with a, with a full content management system. Uh, as opposed to the rest of these platforms that have a small CMS built in, um, this is more for sites that this is more for sites where e-commerce isn't the main focus of the site. So maybe you have a Joomla business website and you want to open a shopping cart with whatever 10, 20, 30 products. Uh, Virtumont would be perfect for that type of situation. Um, not to say that it it won't work for a, a full-fledged e-commerce site because it will. It has all the all the perks um, that most shopping carts have. Um, shopper groups, it has wish list functionality, stock management, and it's very expandable. So that's it. Um, next we're going to talk about the payment systems that we can integrate into our platform. So I will see you in the next video.